What's going on everybody? Shore 3.4 here, bringing you another video. We're doing an intake on the truck today. Um, hopefully next month, I'm gonna be doing a throttle body as well. And we should be pretty much done with the uh, bolt-ons because we're going racing August 30th uh, to lay down more, to lay down a better number. Last, back in May, I ran a 14.6 and that was just a tune. And this time in August, I'm gonna have headers, intake, and a throttle body but today is about the intake and if you didn't see the video already on the header install we got cook's long tube headers on here as long as a as well as a mbrp cat back um like i said today we're doing cold air intake so i ended up getting a volant intake from most performance i'll show you i already opened it because i came home at lunch i wanted to make sure everything was good before i did this video tonight and see what tools I need to bring home from work. But, oh yeah, by the way, my car, I've decided my car is just a bench for working on my truck, but it's cool. Here's the Volant intake, so right out of the box. Uh, gives you some directions, kind of a layout. These, I will show you what these are for later. This is the intake box, the air box, which is freaking giant. I can't even get it in one frame holding it up. Um, it's absolutely, ginormous compared to the stock intake box. I know it's hard to tell, hard to see, but it's freaking massive. I'm excited. Um, and then I've got to do, oh yeah, so there's that. And there's more pieces of paper. This, so this piece right here comes off and I was waiting to peel that off for you guys. Um, I was gonna peel it off today, this earlier today. I was like, no, I'm gonna wait for the video because it'd be satisfying. And then you can put any decal on behind it to make it whatever color you want. And then here's the other piece of that. And couplers, uh, hardware, whole breather hose. And I think that's, oh, and this coupler right here. And otherwise, that's it, sick. Put everything back in here, but I just wanted to show you guys what's in here. Not a lot, honestly, it's just couplers and the box and uh, the intake tube, and that's really about it. So we're gonna first off start, actually, you know what, we're gonna do that last, just because that's gonna be cool to do it last. So we're gonna start with the disassembly of the stock intake. Also, because the sun is like right in my vision here, or for your guys' vision, actually, I'm gonna start it, and I figured I'm gonna get in a sound clip of before of a startup and a like rev on in the engine bay granted i do have this little piece you guys can't even see it. there it goes i do have a little piece gone so it might sound a little better from factory like this but then once i put the intake on it should sound even better uh where should i put you guys that you're not gonna fall over So first things first, I'm just gonna do undo this clip right here. And that comes right off. And then take this off. Take that, oh, we're gonna loosen that one. And this one, pull this piece out. And this air box should honestly just come right out. that anymore uh, this already took off which like I said they do give you a new breather hose take this so I actually haven't really looked I haven't really looked at my filter in a while so we'll see how that is won't need that anymore let's see hmm. could be worse I have not like touched this filter since I bought the truck. I never really cared. Don't need that anymore. And this should honestly just come right out. But I might need two hands for this. 
Set you guys on the throttle body here. Yep, pulls right out. Sick. All right, so I put the box in here. Um, it's kind of tricky. Had to move these, I think these are AC lines. Had to move these AC lines kind of as I got it in there, but it, it does, there is a peg on the Volant box. The pegs, so like see this peg right here? You don't use these two, but you use the two that are up here for the box. It does have a spot for them. Uh, you use those two and it sits right on there and then it connects up to the fender housing. Um, that sits right in there and then I'm kind of just gonna put the breather hose on now okay so I'm kind of just looking at stuff here the 45 degree angle they give it so like this breather hose they give you two fittings they give you this one and they give you a 45 the 45 goes in here and then this goes to the original spot so I will put this on the throttle body All right, so that's how it goes. So this, you got a you got a coupler that downsizes from the tube to the throttle body. You put that on. Don't forget your clamps before you put it on. Your IAT sensor is going to go here. I got to pull that out of the other intake yet. And then this route goes like that. Your 45 degree angle fitting, I'm sorry, your 90 degree angle fitting goes into that spot right there, and then routes behind the intake right here and it'll go, go right in there I might shorten that a little bit because that is pretty long um, but I'm not gonna put that up yet and then you're you got a big coupler that goes from here to here so I'm gonna grab that one which is somewhere ha Gotcha. And this will go right on there. And we should be good to go with just kind of button stuff up. I'm gonna tighten these ones up in the throttle body just a little bit because every time I move it, they keep falling off. And it's getting to be a real pain. So I'm gonna tighten them enough that they stay on, but not enough that I can't move it. Okay, I got that on the throttle body. Now I went ahead and pushed this onto the intake, make sure that's all the way on, and then tighten those as you're keeping force on it, because it does want to kind of slip off right here, just because it's all brand new and it's not really worn yet, the couplers are still pretty stiff. All right, so I aimed those so I could access them easily, got these so I can access them easily, and actually I'm gonna re-tighten this one. And the one back there. Okay. Now I just got to get that IAT sensor out, put it in there. Well, it, here's a plug, but I got to put the actual sensor in there. And then I got to put this on, which I'll do that for now. That one goes on right there. I'll set that down right there. Okay, so intake is on. Um, breather hose is connected. That's in there. This is tight. That's tight. Uh, basically, I just need to grab that IAT sensor out of this plug, which is giving me a hassle, and I'm trying not to break it. I grab this out of here, throw it in there, connect it, and we're gonna start it. Okay, I'll set you guys in here. around let's make sure there's no leaks make sure it's plugged in
Doesn't sound like it. Let's give her a couple revs here. Cool, sounds good. Let's, uh, I'm gonna shut it off. We'll throw that sticker on or whatever. Peel that tape off. And then we'll go for a drive. Here's a good look at the intake. Which I actually should make sure that's tight on there. It is not. All right, so we'll take this, set it on actually this box. And we're going to peel this off. Come on. This was a pain to get started. Sweet. So then the, those papers you put like back here behind it, so it would be red, which I think I'm going to do red, because red's cool. Okay, take this off. There. Sick. There's the final product. I am actually going to, one of these days, I'm gonna actually take this cover back off and like turn this around because I don't want to see the glue and that's how they put it in here, but I didn't even think of that until I put it on, but it's fine. I'll, like I said, I'll put it on. I'll do that another day. Um, but the glass is on and intake is all good. And he's good. We're gonna go for a drive. Not really, but man, my tips are off. I gotta adjust that. Do that later. Let's go for a drive. this from uh, it's gonna get really hot here because I'm not gonna use AC I ordered this from most performance and on their website okay I probably lied on their website it said the base kit will offer 16 horsepower can off offer up to 16 horsepower I don't know how accurate those things are I know these things like I watched somebody do a video and they do actually add horsepower uh, it was like a 10 wheel difference so it's not like it's not doing anything but it's not you're not gonna it's not gonna make your truck run a whole different second quarter mile, but um, it is a lot more torquey. Let's, and you kinda can hear a little more. We'll do an acceleration down here in a second. Just from finding somewhere to back up, you do have a little more resonance in here, which I like. You do kinda hear a little bit more induction noise. Now I already, like I said, I already had that little piece that went to the fender out. I know with an intake you can hear more of that stuff. So maybe that's why I'm not noticing much is because I already had that little piece gone. Um, but we're gonna do an acceleration right here. Yeah, it does sound a little different. Definitely does sound a little different. Wow, this thing kind of pulls a little 
little better now. Still isn't finished, but kind of what it needed. All right, everything seems to be good. We're just gonna go back home and open the hood, make sure none of the couplers fell off. I tightened them all good enough, nothing moved. Freezer hose is fine. And that should be the end of it. I also have to drive what usually takes like 13 seconds to get to my house is now almost a minute because I got to drive like 50 miles an hour because of this crap. Uh, let's see here. That stayed on, stayed on, stayed on. Breather hose stayed on. Alright, no problem. I think we're good, folks. Perfect. I think we are all set. So, if you enjoyed, actually I hope you guys enjoyed, hope this was helpful to you. I, I have not seen anything on YouTube of Volant Ram Hemis. So really, I mean I saw one ran it on the drag strip, but that's all, he said it had a Volant, who knows if it did, but I haven't seen any installs or like that really. So hopefully this is helpful to you if you were interested in this one. Um, Stay tuned, I don't know when this video is gonna go live, but it'll be before August 30th, and I will be racing on August 30th, so you guys will know how this, the headers, and a port of throttle body helped gain uh, with numbers of the track. But otherwise, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next vlog.